Today we will make and drink a new spin on the classic Navy Grog. And this reinvention comes from a new cocktail book out there in the world, and it's a book that I highly recommend. It's Tropical Standard Cocktail Techniques and Reinvented Recipes by Garrett Richard and Ben Schaefer. And while the easy thing to do would be to describe it as a combination of Sip and Safari, Smuggler's Cove, and Liquid Intelligence all wrapped up into one shiny new book, it is so much more than that. It is its own thing, and while it does go deep into the details and new processes, there are great references to the types of ice to use, citrus, and overall great foundational information. And it also has one of the most concise yet elaborate overviews of tropical, tiki, and modern cocktail culture all woven together. As I was thinking about this book, I was thinking that there are probably about three groups of people that are really looking into this book your classic cocktail book collectors, people that buy any and all tiki or tropical books, and they'll enjoy this. There's your hyper-focused technique and new recipes driven crowd like me, who are super interested in the reinvention of classic cocktails here and the new techniques involved. And then there's the camp of people who are looking for just recipes. And I think that group might be discouraged, but uh, you shouldn't be. There are advanced techniques in here, but they are easily explained and not overly complicated. I know that some of you love liquid intelligence and others really do not. What I would say is that the world has enough cocktail books with pretty pictures and tiny adjustments to existing recipes. You don't need a book that tells you to make a Mai Tai with half Jamaican rum and half a cane juice rum from Mexico. You can just do that yourself. You don't need anyone's permission or guidance. The importance of this book and just books like this in general is that they are progress. It is literally expanding the category of tropical and tiki drinks. And while these are tropical and tiki drinks, you can use these techniques and apply them to classic cocktails, gin cocktails, and any other kinds of drinks. So I say buy the book, support the people out there doing this work so others in the future can find their way to make new and interesting techniques. Now, if you're looking to skip ahead to the Navy Grog recipe, just check the chapter markers below. But before going there, uh, here are a couple of housekeeping notes from uh, recent videos that overlap with this one here in, in the book. And the first is acid adjusting. The book has extensive details on acid adjusting for different juices. I think if you're going to do a lot of the work that these recipes require, I would advise following Garrett's acid adjustment recipes, which is what I'm gonna do today. But in the future, if I'm doing things in the book for ease and my sanity, I might just use my acid solution instead. The second note here is Don's Gardenia Mix. There's a recipe in here for Don's Gardenia Mix that uses 210S, as Dave Arnold does. Now, if you watch my Pearl Diver video uh, and you saw my updated Don's Gardenia Mix 2.0, I would actually suggest following this recipe because Garrett has gone through uh, greater lengths to test the recipe. I was just taking the original Don's Gardenia Mix and adding a gram of 210S. I think his process will probably yield a more consistent result. So if you haven't made Gardenia Mix and you wanna do it uh, in the future, I'd suggest following the Tropical Standard recipe. So let's move on now to the Tropical Standard Navy Grog. I am not a grog expert by any means. Don and Vic both had multiple versions of grogs, Navy grogs and then grogs with their namesake. Trader Vic's Navy grog is the version that has a cult-like status, and it's one of the very few tiki recipes that is still a closely guarded secret today. If you go to Vic's today, you'll see Trader Vic's grog, which is a potent blend of dark rum, pineapple, and passion fruit, You'll also see the Navy Grog, a truly great drink, a blend of rums and grapefruit with our spiced syrup. And that spiced syrup is the secret ingredient. Now, if you're lucky from time to time, you can pick up a bottle of this Grog mix because Trader Vic's occasionally sells it. But no one really knows the recipe. We know it's an allspice flavor, and there have always been these rumors or third-party recipes using Coca-Cola. The Tropical Standard Navy Grog uses Angostura bitters, acid adjusted grapefruit juice, the tropical standard grog concentrate, allspice dram, Hamilton 86, Appleton 12, and Barbancourt white. 
I do not have Barbancourt White, and this is not a easy rum to just sub out. Barbancourt is a Haitian rum, and while it's a cane juice style rum, it's not exactly the same as rum agricole. And instead of trying to sub in another white rum or an agricole, I'm going to use the Barbancourt I have. To my knowledge, both are aged four years, and my assumption is that the white is charcoal filtered and possibly aged in a different type of barrel, but I don't know. But this is as close as I'm gonna to get today. The grog concentrate does require an overnight steep, but it's easy to make. You'll need 355 milliliters of Coca-Cola, that's about a can or a bottle, 21 grams of allspice berries, and 572 grams of white sugar. Now I started this bottle yesterday and it's easy to make. You just start by breaking up your allspice berries with a grinder or a mortar and pestle, and then do a light toast on your stovetop. Add in the Coca-Cola and the sugar and just simmer for 15 minutes. After you've done that, take it off the heat, store it in a container in the refrigerator overnight. Now, when I strained this bottle, I used a nut milk bag since the sugar is already in here. Uh, it's not able to go through a coffee filter. That would take days. So you could use a fine mesh strainer as well, but it's not gonna filter out all of the allspice. For the acid adjusted grapefruit juice, we'll make that right now. And we are taking this from a grapefruit acidity to a lemon. You're gonna start with 100 milliliters of grapefruit juice and add in four grams of citric acid. And that's it. You have a grapefruit juice, acid adjusted to lemon juice. We're gonna build this in a drink mixer tin. We're gonna start with five drops of the saline solution, which is called for a lot in the book. It's a mix of 80% water to 20% salt. Three dashes of Angostura bitters, one ounce of our acid adjusted grapefruit juice, three quarter an ounce of the grog concentrate, one teaspoon of St. Elizabeth allspice dram, Three quarter ounces of a Hamilton 86 or another Demerara rum. Three quarter ounces of an Appleton 12. And three quarter ounces of Barbancourt white. If you got it, I'm just using the Barbancourt 4. Now one of my favorite little details of the book is that they somewhat standardize ice when using a drink mixer. They call for eight ounces of ice in your mixing tin and four ounces of ice in your glass. And even more exciting for me is that uh, in the book, they say you can interchange nugget ice and crushed ice. And I'm all about the ease of using nugget ice. And all of this is super smart and it makes life a lot easier because as you can imagine, if you dump everything from your drink mixer into your glass and then you top it off with ice, you're gonna lose some of that texture and some of that foam on the top. Now, Martin Cade Smuggler's Cove does a gated finish technique, which is what he calls it but this is actually just a little bit easier. Now, the only issue with this is that you do kind of need to know how much volume your glass holds, and that's really just trial and error, but even if you need to add more ice at the end after you've made your drink, the less you're needing to add, the better. Now, I also got myself a new heavy-duty drink mixer, and I pulled a bit of a Tim Taylor here. You see the warning here has three times the horsepower of the commercial Hamilton Beach. And so far, I don't recommend it. Half of the drinks that I have made so far have ended up everywhere. And it is somewhat frightening to use. Now sometime in the future, I'll deep dive these. And if you come across good information online or YouTube about drink mixers specifically for cocktails, share it with me. I've found very little information outside of a few paragraphs in some of these cocktail books and virtually nothing else that's really usable online. Now to make the drink, you're gonna add one cup of nugget or crushed ice to your tin and you're gonna flash blend for five seconds or in my case, one second. This thing is terrifying. We did it. Garlic. 
garnish with some mint and a grapefruit wedge. And there you go, the tropical standard Navy Gras. All right, let's taste it. So I'll say I had like high expectations and they were high enough to where I sort of, uh, as I was making the drink and preparing the grog concentrate, I sort of lowered my expectations. I didn't want to overhype it. Um, like I said, I'm not a grog expert. It's not like my typical drink, but this is one of the, the best tiki tropical drinks I've ever had. Like without a doubt, it is, it's that good. It, it's fair. It's just, it's very balanced. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing that's like overwhelming in here. You get the flavor of the grapefruit, but you're not, you don't have that over dilution because you have to have a lot of grapefruit juice and lime juice. And it's not overly like spicy. It's not like some of Dawn, the beachcomber's drinks that have like so much spice in them. Uh, it's, uh, man, this is, this is great. And one of the things that I was worried about was too much allspice. I thought the grog concentrate with the allspice already in it, as well as St. Elizabeth would be too much, but it works well here. I also had some concerns because I personally don't like rum and Coke or Jack and Coke. I like Coca-Cola. I just don't like mixing it with things. So I was worried that this was gonna be like too much in that direction and it's not. Doesn't taste like Coca-Cola, all spice syrup. Like I said, I'm not a grog expert. I can't sit here and tell you that this is the greatest grog ever. It it probably is though. Uh, I'm going to Trader Vic's next week. I'm gonna try the Navy grog there. I'll let you know in some comments later on how it stacks up against this one, but get the book, make the Navy grog. Let me know what you think. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, see you in the next one.